G'day everyone, and today I'll be showing you a quick tip video of how to effectively use a Beast of Burden in a situation which commonly arises at Frost Dragons, as well as a number of other scenarios. The problem is you're always trying to withdraw something such as food from your familiar, as well as deposit something such as bones into your familiar, and all the while being in combat. Now the usual way this is done is the first lot of food is taken normally, and then the bones are deposited by using them on the familiar. Now the problem with this is that the bones are now at the top of your familiar's inventory, so if I go to take some more food, I'll be, I'll be having the bones instead, which is not what we want. Now the usual way this is rectified is that people will bring up the interface in the middle of combat and then just start spam clicking in order to, tr to try, try to withdraw as many f as they can before the interface is closed by combat. Now this has several problems. But there is a way to effectively do this in combat without requiring precision timing or spam clicking. So if each time you withdraw food, if you then right click on your familiar and store, your familiar's inventory is reorganized so that everything now goes to the top. So if I start depositing bones and then take some more food, I will, I will take the food instead of the bones. And this can be done in combat without precision timing. So I just thought I'd show you a quick example actually in combat. And as you can see, I'm under quite rapid attack here. So if I just take my first inventory of food like so, and then store in my yak, you can see my inventory is organized to the top. So if I now deposit some bones, as you normally would, and then go to take some more food, I will be receiving the sharks that I want. The only thing is you do have to remember to store each time you withdraw food, otherwise the trick won't work. Thanks for watching.